Hi y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we have a special video of an unboxing video of our hot tub and we are redoing our little yard beside our RV. So we have a spa hot tub by Best Way is a Salu spa and it's the Paris model. I got this model specifically because it comes with light uh, color changing LED strips. Right away, let's get into the unboxing and we can see some guides on top along with, it looks like a little coupon book. Um, that will be the uh, cover top for the spa. The spa does come with a cover itself. That is good. We have two filters for filtering out water that go inside the, the spa, some connectors, uh, another filter for the chlorine or brom bromine. I like to use bromine. Unboxing this little box it is the LED light strips. Again, these do change colors and they do come with their own little remote. And it is like a hard plastic that is surrounding the LEDs. Very high quality. And then we have the brain of the spa. The uh, little engine in here that gets the water hot basically the little water heater makes the bubbles the spa does come with its own with the, with the bubbles too it does have a little massage bubble maker and there is the remote to change the leds and it is a three prong connector Unboxing the other box, we have the hot tub itself. So right away I can feel that, that the hot tub is made of kind of like a a kayak quality for the cover around it like an inflatable kayak and the inner hot tub itself is more of like a like a blow up that you use for a um a floaty to put in the pool for the material as far as the material goes So the machine says that it can actually blow up the hot tub itself. So this little rubber piece comes inside that little cap and you have to put it on top of this. You have to connect it there so it can have a good seal and use one of the black hoses and connect the black hose. This is where we connect the black hose to the machine so we can pump it up, pump up the hot tub. Don't forget the little connector that also you use to connect from to the hot tub to the hose. The directions say it should take no more than five minutes. And all you have to do is power the machine on and then hit the bubble button and that will blow it up. So it did blow up relatively quick. It only took about five minutes. I let it blow up a little bit longer and you don't have to worry about overblowing it up because when it hits its limit, the air just comes out of the machine and it's perfectly normal. So you don't have to worry about over inflating. No over inflation, don't have to worry. I like to Make sure the cover is on right as it was blowing up. Now it is time to flip over the hot tub and install the LED light strips. This is very important. You're supposed to do this before you fill the hot tub up with water because as we know, this gets pretty heavy when it's filled up completely with water. Well, not completely, but as I say, to the guidelines of where the water should be. 
it was a little tricky getting this in there. Uh, it didn't want to keep wrap, uh, curling and wrapping around uh, the LED strips. This just they just wanted to, to wrap around and curl up, have mine of their own. But I got it working, and you know, took longer than it should to be honest. But hey, the good quality LED light strips. Okay, so now it's time to install the filters. You have to take these, this cap off. We have three caps on. Now put one filter right there with a single, a couple turns. You don't need too many turns. It doesn't need to be too tight. It is plastic and on plastic, so you don't want to over tighten. Okay, then I put the clear holes right there on that connector. It is a rubber hose. And then we have Rose right here looking pretty. She can't wait for a hot tub. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and use the uh, blow up connector that I used to blow up the hot tub. I can use the same connector to blow up the lid for the hot tub and it looks like it's made out of a, a, a rubber material just like a floaty and along with the cover that goes in it. It is best to put the cover, wrap the cover around the uh, blow up portion because it will be, it's, the, it's just the best way for the cover to be applied. I like to do it, make sure to do this step. And blow it up before you connect the um, the water heater machine to the hot tub because you, it's just easier that way to blow it up with the machine. Again, you don't have to worry about over inflating. The machine has a safety mechanism for that. And it fits nice in there, nicely in there. Take out the hose I used to blow up the hot tub, and now we connect the machine to the hot tub. Take off the plastics, a little bubble wrap that's on the um, on the connectors. Screw it forward. Make sure you place your hot tub in the area that you want it to be in, and that you have your water heater in a spot that you want it to be in um, for your final setup. Because once you fill this hot tub with water, you're not gonna want to move it. You have to drain all the water out just to move it or a lot of it, it, it gets heavy. It gets real heavy. Make sure all the connectors are secure. There's another connector on the side for where that other filter, that alone filter was at. This is, this is so the water can fil filter correctly through the machine and get nice clean water again you don't have to make sure it's too tight plastic on plastic there are guidelines to where you can fill up the water label it inside before picture and after All in all, I think it came out great. Our yard looks really nice now. There's a whole vibe going on. We found these couches on for free, basically. And the grass, the fake grass just looks really nice. Uh, I will be putting a link in the description to where I got this hot tub from. It, it may be affiliate, it may not. I, I'll try to work it out, but thank you for watching.